Hi everyone, product review time and today I'm going to do a review on this coal stir fry. It's a Mongolian style stir fry kit. Now this is only six bucks in the shops, although I picked it up at half price for three bucks, but it serves two, it's 500 grams and it actually looks really good. I mean, it's full of vegetables here. It looks really nice, it comes with the noodles. And on the front here it says, rich and fragrant traditional Chinese inspired spices with Hokkien noodles and chopped vegetables. Which to me sounded really nice, but let's check out like the ingredients and its nutritional value. Right, well it says Hokkien noodles 40%, that's good. Then it's got like oils and salts and Mongolian sauce 16%, onion powder, doesn't actually say what the percentage of vegetables is, but if the noodles are 40%, the sauce says 16%, then that only leaves 44%, I'll tell you what, it looks a lot more than 44%. Now what's its nutritional value say? Right. Well per serving size, which is half the packet, it says that the energy is 1,391 kilojoules. So you could have like seven servings of this and still be under your daily kilojoule intake. So you could have like three of these whole packets and still lose weight. It's three and a half percent protein. Fat is only 2.8%. Carbs, 22%. Oh yeah. With 8% sugar, oh dear. Got lots of nice fiber in there. And enough salt to kill an elephant. Well, that seems all right, doesn't it? So let's take a look inside and see what you actually get inside the packet. Well, that comes off nice and easy. So we've got the bag of noodles here, great. We've got the Mongolian sauce here. Well, that's good, looks nice. And have a look at all these veggies. We've got capsicum and carrots and cabbage, spring onions. It all looks really nice and healthy. Wow, looks tasty as I'm really looking forward to this now. So how about we whip it up and see what it tastes like. So how to cook. Place noodles in bowl and cover with boiling water. After two minutes, gently separate with a fork, drain and set aside. Okay, so I'll boil some water. Let's get into this packet of noodles. Into a bowl. Cover with said boiled water and set aside. I oh, wonder which side, this side or this side? Anyway, how about that side? I'll just leave it there. In the meantime, I'll get my biggest frying pan, AKA wok, turn that heat right up high. Right, has that been two minutes yet? Let's just say it has. So I'll separate that with a fork, yep. It's doing what it says, it told me that it would. And I'll drain the water out, like it told me to do. Okay, so meanwhile, heat two tablespoons of oil in a wok or large frying pan. For added flavor, fry off chopped garlic and ginger before adding the ingredients. Well, I do have some, so you know what? I think I will. I'll add half a thing of garlic and a quarter of a thing of ginger. Fry that off. Once hot, which it is, add the vegetable mix and stir fry for five or six minutes. Okay, stirring occasionally. Well, that was occasional. And now it says add sauce and noodles, stir fry until combined and heated through. Well, that sounds easy enough. See what they, ugh, these packets are pretty tough. I'll whack the sauce in, and the noodles. Give it a toss. That was a bit of a fail, so I'll give it a stir. And we just heat that through and it should be done. Alrighty, well, here we have them. They don't look too bad, do they? It looks pretty good. Smells all right as well. Put some in a bowl. Mm. In the bowl, Greg. Alrighty, well, there we go. The coal stir fry ready. Now, you can also add some meat to this if you want. So, if you've got some chopped chicken, just cook it first. 
put it aside and when it's all done, chuck it in and she'll be right. But let's give this a go, see what it tastes like. Mmm. Mmm. Well, that's sweet. There's definitely a lot of sugar in that sauce. But of course you need that sort of sugar to make it taste the way it does. But I'll tell you what, it tastes all right. This is the mild. I don't think it comes in a hot and spicy one, but it is kind of mild. It's very sweet, but the noodles are good. The vegetables it came with were nice and fresh as well. There seems to be plenty of sauce there to cover all the vegetables. And even if you're hopeless at cooking, you should be able to whip this bad boy up. Does this sauce even taste Mongolian? <laughs> well, kind of. And for six bucks, well, it's probably not too bad a value either. Would I get this one again? Yeah, yeah I would. And I'd chuck some chicken in. Oh yeah, it'll make it taste real good. Anyway, there you go, the cold stir fry ready Mongolian. There's also a couple of other flavors. They might just be the thing that's right up your alley. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Greg eats something. See you then. Oh, yeah. This is Greg's kitchen. Where